program was brought to you by McDonald's. enough just getting from the maze to hear from me. I don't know how they get in there. Welcome to Amazing. James Sherry here. It's a pleasure to have you along. We have two new players from each team joining us today from Our Lady of Fatima and from Birkdale State School. Let's meet the green team. Hi, my name's Rebecca Wick and I like collecting stamps, skating and swimming and I go to Birkdale State School. My name's Ben Townsend. I go to Birkdale State School and I like swimming and playing cricket. Swimming. Ben, swimming and playing cricket, obviously you don't do them at the same time. Good. It'd be a bit dangerous. Um, or you could be in slips. <laughs> and, cause, okay, Ben, you'd like to change with someone who is a mega millionaire. Mm. What is a mega millionaire? Someone who's got billions of dollars. And what would you do if you had billions of dollars? <laughs> I don't know. No idea. Know. By the world. Mm. Okay, fair enough. Um, you are annoyed by having to be first in the shower. Yeah. So at your place, you're first in the shower and you don't like that? No, we have a roster and then if you're first in the shower, you never get in. Why not? Because you can't watch TV or anything. Right. I always thought it'd be best to be first in the shower because then you don't have to worry about the hot water running out, yeah. which is the other major problem. Rebecca giggling away here. Now, you've got a few little problems of your own. Um, if you had a magic power, you'd love to be a Japanese teacher. Can you speak any Japanese? Yes. Yeah, well, konnichiwa. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Ah, um, we're good, eh? Uh, one of your most amazing achievements was being selected as a player on Amazing. Good. Hopefully you can have a win today. Just to cap that off and make that your most amazing thing. Uh, because you'd also like to be Dita Brummer's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah? So does that mean you want to be Angel on Home and Away? No. You want to be his girlfriend in real life? <laughs> All right. I'll give you his phone number later. We can see what we can work out. You'll be playing the yellow team. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Chris Comero. I like baseball, stamp collecting and aircraft and I come from Our Lady of Fatima School. Hi, I'm Gemma Bright and I love reading and doing athletics and I come from Our Lady of Fatima School. Right. Welcome to you both. Feeling a bit nervous? Yeah. So you look at just relax. Relax. Have a good time. You've got lots of supporters here, so you want to make them happy. Just relax, have a good time. That's the most important thing. Gemma, you'd like to be an Olympic athlete. Yes. Yeah, what athletics are you into? Um, running and um, long jump and high jump. Right, and have you represented your school or the state or anything in, in that? Yes. What have you done? Um, I, um, last year I went, in December I went to the state finals and we won a gold medal in the relay. Excellent. Well done. Um, that says that here, a relay and gold medal at the state finals. I should have known that. Um, Chris's best achievement has been when he had a f his first flying lesson. You've actually flown a plane then? Yeah. In your first lesson? Yeah. How old do you have to be before you can do that? Um, well, you can be any age, but you can't get your licence until you're 17. 17? Yeah. Right, so you can fly before you can drive? Yeah. Wow. Um, you'd like to be a pilot in the Air Force? Yeah. Yeah, and you've been in a Tiger Moth as well? Yeah. Tell me about that. Oh, uh, well, I was just pretty little and, um, and my tape and cockpit and um, you hit lots of air pockets and I didn't have a belt on my, my dad. I was sitting on my dad's lap and I kept jumping. Bouncing out. Bouncing out. So have you ever been parachuting? Oh, no. Nearly on that day, though. Yeah. Yeah. OK, good luck today. Hope you can get some points together for your school. We checked the leaderboard. Uh, Our Lady of Fatima at this stage <laughs> having to do a bit of work to catch up. Birkdale in the lead. But let me tell you, all is not lost. It's only Thursday, there's still two days of play. You could easily catch up and take that major computer package away for your school, okay? So be confident, have a good time. I want a nice clean fight from both of you. We flip the coin out the back. Yellow, you were going first, is that right? Good. Whew. Sometimes I get so confused. Okay, you know how time zones play. I can tell you that this is a what am I? It's a thing with six letters. There's 90 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. I am long and thin. I am often found on a desk. 
I contain... Pencil. Yes, pencil it is, down to the keyboard. Type it out, Chris, up the stairs. Pencil. I contain a central rod of graphite. Pencil is the word. If you turn around, it makes it easier to read the letters. The third letter in pencil. Got to type a bit quicker, guys. Time's ticking away, down to 65 seconds. The L's been typed 64. Come back to base. Much easier if you get straight down to the red, turn around and have a look at the letters. You can see what they look like. Uh, 64. 64 seconds left on the clock, so 64 points. That's a good start. Very good start. Nice, strong start. And it's up to the green team to match it. Rebecca, how are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous. Relax. Here we go. This is easy. It's a what am I? It's a thing with six letters. 90 seconds on the clock for you. Time starts now. I can be played indoors or outdoors. Soccer? Nope. I am played on grass, clay or asphalt courts. Tennis. Yes, tennis it is. Well done. Down to the keyboard, fast as you can. Typing out tennis. You can often hear the umpire call ace. That's when I walk on the court. Three letters. Crowd helping out there. And the final letter in tennis is the S. Well done. That much quicker, that much quicker. 67 seconds left on the clock. We'll add those points to your score. 67, 64, nothing in it. Stick with us after the break. More happening. Amazing. Ronald McDonald conducts the Beethoven Symphony. June, you could be in the rally of the year, the 1994 Chardonnay Homes Kidney Car Rally. Nine days and 4,000 kilometres of fun and adventure from Cowra to Sydney via Queensland Stockman's Hall of Fame. Anyone can drive in the wacko 1994 Chardonnay Homes Kidney Car Rally. Start getting organised now and in June you'll be driving for dollars and donors for the Australian Kidney Foundation. Want to know more? Then write to GPO Box C457 Clarence Street, New South Wales or phone 008 811 244. Welcome back to Amazing. The crowd going ballistic because they know it's time to get into the first maze run. Now, Ben from Birkdale has to find the letters of tennis within 67 seconds. Okay, you've got 67 seconds to find those six letters. Chris, you have three seconds less. Nothing in it. 64 seconds to find pencil. Okay? okay. If you'd like to take your starting positions, we'll put 67 seconds on the clock. They're worth 10 points each, so 60 points up for grabs in this round. The time starts. Now, first run is in, three seconds later, you're away! Three seconds, hardly any time difference, we're down to the minute mark now. Ben looking for tennis. And Chris looking for pencil, he's in the haunted house, he has got one of those, it looks like a P. That's good, that's another ten points. And our lady of Fathom are really needing as many points as they can to catch up. Bit of a deficit on the leaderboard. As we come down to the 30-second mark, each player holding some letters. Crowd chanting. Our Lady of Fatima School really getting behind their player. They are so keen to get up here. 20 seconds left on the clock as Ben plays with the Penguins. 
He's given up there. Comes down the slide into the foam pit on the 10 second mark. We pick up Chris. Going into the earth to the wrong side of the maze. Time! Time! Stop, 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 stop! Guys, guys, come on out! Come on out! The points that these guys are building up for as they come out of the maze, this is the major prize. This is it. You could win for your school this word processing typewriter and a personal word processor. Typewriter features include 22,000 character memory, edit facility, dictionary and correction system. The typewriter and word processors from Smith Corona, intelligently quiet. Pencil. Pencil. Now, Chris, you were nearly naughty. You went up into the second side of the maze. Didn't pick up any letters. You did, however, on your side, pick up a P and an N and a C and an E. That's four. So, adding 40 points to your score. Well run, Chris. And you don't, the crowd love it. Ben, how many letters did you find? One. Just the one for Bechdar. We've got an N and your word was tennis. 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 Finding one N in tennis. So we add 10 points to Bechdar. 77 points. This is a chance to get more points, okay? All right? Had a bit of a problem in that, in that maze run. Maybe the next one will help you out. This is what's going to give you the time in the maze. Our next time zone, this is a what am I? It's a thing with five letters. I nearly told you the answer then. Uh, we'll put 90 seconds on the clock for you. Your time starts now. Clothes and blankets are made from our coat. Sheep? Yes, sheep. Very, very quick. Quickly add to the maze. Ben and Beck picking sheep off the first clue. Uh, I was going to talk about there being 15 million of them in New Zealand. Very, oh. Last letter, there it is, 72, 72. <laughs> Rebecca getting excited, trying to put down triple E in sheep. Not to worry, not to worry. 72 seconds left on the clock, so we'll give you 72 points. Good points. 72 seconds in the maze. There's 15 million of sheep, of, of sheep. There's 15 million sheep in New Zealand. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Someone in the audience reckoned they knew it. Yeah, right. OK, it's your turn for time zone. 72 seconds they got. Can you do better? This is a what am I? A thing with five letters. 90 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. Everybody has me and the first set is replaced. Teeth. Yes! <laughs> on the first clue. I don't believe this. They're so quick. Teeth. Typing it very, very quickly. The last letter. They, last letter's there. 76. Whoa. You know, I thought Gemma was going to jump on Chris's foot and break a couple of bones or something because they both went for the H so quickly. And it's pronounced H, not H, OK? H. Um, teeth, it was 70, 76. 76 seconds left on the clock for you. We add 76 points to your score. Very nice spot, Our Lady of Fatima drawing out a bit of a lead. Drawing out a bit of a lead here, which is very exciting. We're going into a maze run, which could put you further in the lead right after this break. Stay with us. Amazing. Shane's million dollar idea hits pay dirt. You want to earn some extra bucks or not? While Fisher's concern grows. I do hope she's not encouraging the boy. Beth can handle it. But can she? She is. When Home It Away continues tonight on 7. Finally, a chocolate coated marshmallow bar you'll glow to love and dream about. There's nothing like it. Not only the mouth-watering glow bar, but also the set of 12 crazy face stickers that glow in the dark. See details of how to purchase your glow-in-the-dark t-shirt and free glowing membership card to the Glow Club. Now, that's something to glow about. Duray, go without. Everybody must be fed. Join the World Vision 40-Hour Famine, June 3 to 5. Ring now for your famine pack and help hungry kids. 40-Hour Famine, do it. Call World Vision on 132240. The sporting nation of 
shows the love to its coaches, whatever the spot or individual approaches. Now, I think coaches have a tremendous influence on the lives of those who play sport. They influence their social and personal attitudes as much as they influence their sporting attitudes. Social school and club sports, through to the elite of our nation. 1994 is the year of the coach. For details, phone 008 641 994. And I just thought of something. If your last name was Sockinit, Gemma Sockinit. No, it doesn't matter. Anyway, Gemma representing Our Lady of Fatima. At this stage, your team is leading, which is very, very exciting. You have 76 seconds in the maze to find the letters in teeth. Five letters, possible 50 points here. And we need them. We need them, OK? Representing Birkdale, Rebecca. Slipping a bit behind at this stage, you have 72 seconds to find the letters in sheep. OK? Five letters each, possible 50 points. They look something like this, except they're different, because this is a J and you're after different letters than a J, obviously. OK? 50 points, 76 seconds. Rebecca, you have to start at 72, so you have to wait four seconds once Gemma started. If you'd like to take your starting positions, please, we'll put 76 seconds on the clock. Gemma, best of luck. Rebecca, best of luck to you too. Your time starts now. Gemma's into the maze. Rebecca, you're away. She's away. She's away. Everyone's away. Into the maze. A lot of time in the maze to find five letters. And Our Lady of Fatima, very excited at this stage. The whole school going crazy. You can hear them out here. Really, really supportive. It's looking really good for them. Birkdale, at this stage, have had a dream run. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Picking up incredible points. Our Lady of Fatima today fighting back. Good fighting spirit. We come down to the 42nd mark. And both players sporting letters in their hands. So both players scoring points for their teams. We won't know how many till they come out. Just down over the 32nd mark. So well over halfway. Gemma coming down to the foam pit. Still searching for letters. Going back into her own half. Trying to find the gate. They're both trying to find their swap over. They've actually gone through their halves of the maze in exactly the same time and met at the starting gate again. That is incredible. Crowd's being very supportive. And time's up. Stop, stop. Come on out. Come on out. Now, as the girls make their way back out to the front of the maze and we add up their letters, let's rerun some of that fun, OK? Uh, I'm not sure, Chris. I'm not sure. Chris said, am I playing first in the computer challenge, which is coming up? We have to wait for the girls to come out, add up the letters, add them to the score. Whoever's the lowest will be playing the first computer challenge. How'd you go, Gemma? Uh, <sighs> I'm a bit puffed. Now, your word was? Teeth. Teeth. And you've got an S and a Y, which we can't allow, but you do have two E's there. So, 20 points being added to our lady. A Fatima's score puts you on an even 200. Nice round score. I like that. Rebecca, your word was? Sheep. Sheep. And how many letters did you find from Three. sheep? Three of them. Two E's and a P. So, we add 30 points to Birkdale. 179. 179, 200. Bechtar will be playing the computer challenge first with a deficit of 21 points at this stage, but 100 points up for grabs, Ben. The computer game we're playing today is Tetris. Are you familiar with Tetris, Ben? Not really. Well, the crowd seems to like it. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. You have to score as many points in Tetris as you possibly can. The more, if you score the highest amount of points, you will get 100 points for your school, take you through to the bonus round this afternoon. 60 seconds on the clock. Ben, your time starts now. The whole idea of Tetris is to make solid lines. Um, they disappear once they're, they're sort of made solid. That's good. See, you slip that bar in underneath there like that. A tricky little move. And of course, um, if you make a double line, you get more points. If you make a triple line, it's more points again. And if you make a set of four, that's the, um, the ideal set to make, it's big points indeed. Those little Z pieces are always trouble. I always have trouble trying to slot them in. Oh, yep, just swing it on around. Not a good placement there, not to worry. 25 seconds left on the clock for you, Ben. At this stage, only 30 points on the score. Gonna need some big scores 
Big scoring points here. This could do you some help. Yep, up to 294 with that one. Down to the 10 second mark. You've just hit the 300 point mark. Coming down to six seconds, five on the clock. 303 points at this stage and time stops right there. For someone who's not familiar with the game, you didn't do too badly, 311 points. A couple of gaps opening up there in the bottom of the Tetris screen, but not a problem. 311 points could do it for you, Ben. We cross now to the yellow team. How do you feel, Chris? Mm, okay. You know Tetris? Yeah. You play it a lot? Yeah, I've got it at home. <sighs> maybe luck's on your side, or maybe practice will help you out here. 100 points up for grabs, and you need it. You need to beat 311 points here. You have 60 seconds on the clock. Tetris is the game. You're away, Chris. Time started. You want to get more than 311 points. And you can see he's just slamming those pieces down, getting in there really quick. Points, 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 points. The more points, if you beat 311, you get 100 points for your school. I can tell you that's going to put you into the bonus round this afternoon. This stage looking very good. You're down to the 35 seconds with 130 points on, on your score. Just under 30 seconds left at 152. 162 now. And look at concentration on Chris's face. Down under the 15 second mark now. 175 points on your score. You've just made it 183. Desperately trying to fit pieces left, right and centre. Slotting them in nicely, 185. Oh, time's up there. Time's up. Chris started with such enthusiasm, only 105 points on the computer game there. Bit disappointing, not to worry. We put 100 points on the green team score. 279, oh, that will put Birkdale into the bonus round. The next round, picking up the bonus keys, 50 points, going to our of Fatima Cruz. A gallant effort there at the end. Unfortunately, just not quite making it on the computer chart, and that's where it happened. You were in front all day, so a bit of bad luck for you, but as a consolation prize for everybody. So thank you for playing, and as a consolation prize, we have these gifts for you. All players receive a selection of new Australian books from Mark McLeod and Random House, plus for school projects or homework, a pack of 10 washable coloured markers from Beryl, and an exclusive amazing t-shirt from Rebel Rag. Well, that's upon the computer picks the pieces at once. Gemma just saying it's a bit disappointing that they're not going on, but she tried her best, and that's all that matters. You did try your best, you did wonderfully, you had these guys panicking most of the day. Thanks for playing, hope you had a good time. Birkdale in two the bonus round right after this commercial break. Amazing. Tonight, seven home delivers the fun. With a cheeky bird. He pooped on my bed. And a funny hat that are made. There's more laughs. With the salt in the swing. All new hanging with Mr. Cooper after Full House. Tonight on Seven. Milky Way keeps them going until dinner without ruining their appetites. Delicious Milky Center, whipped till it's light and fluffy, then coated in milk chocolate. Brace you in! Ah! I'll beat ya! Oh, yeah, sure! Milky Way, lovely, Mum! Very thoughtful of you, Mrs. Freeman. Absolutely. The treat you can enjoy between meals without ruining your appetite. Love songs just for you. Song. The perfect yeah. collection with Elton John. This one's for you. The Commodores. Times later. ABC. Twenty special love songs from the original artists. Diana Ross and Lionel Richie. Love songs just for you. Might as well face it. You're addicted to love. Kim and Kevin had come to see me after Kim had lost her job and they were scared of losing their house. The bankruptcy court got us to ring credit line and they told us to bring in all our paperwork. It was amazing because we'd never really had to keep a track of where our money was going before. We spoke to the creditors, organised a new repayment scheme, also organised mortgage assistance. It was a great relief. Yeah, credit line really helped us get back in control again. <laughs> Amazing! 
I look after Rebecca's glasses. She's a bit nervous about sort of losing them in the maze, stepping on them, squashing them or something. How do you feel, though? <laughs> yeah, well, sort of. OK, let me tell you that you are looking for these keys in there. They're worth 100 points each. Each one of those keys, 100 points added to your school total. If you have the most points tomorrow afternoon, this prize will be going to Birkdale State School. You could be winning for your school this word processing typewriter and a personal word processor. Personal word processor features include 16 line, 80 characters LCD, 64K RAM plus more. The typewriter and word processors from Smith Corona, intelligently quiet. Now that package is for the school office, okay? And I'm pretty sure you two would like something for yourselves? Yeah. Yep, well there's a bonus prize key in there, the numbered one to seven. This is where our bonus prize key is hidden today. That's where it is. These guys don't know about it. But if you find that key, you'll be taking away a prize. One each. For each one each is what I'm trying to say. Gary, this, what is the prize? Tell us. The compact portable video game system you can play anywhere with interchangeable game cartridges. Game Boy is the new generation from Nintendo. Now the only way to guarantee that you get that is by finding all seven keys. Numbered one to seven. Remember, you've got to find two before you can come out and tag your partner. Two and only two, okay? Who's going to start? You are. Okay, over to the starting position, please. We'll put 90 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. Best of luck, Rebecca. She's away. Ben watching very closely, keen to get into the maze and find his own two keys. The crowd very, very supportive. Coming down to the 75 second mark, and at this stage, Rebecca has no keys. needs to find two keys before she can come out. Each key worth 100 points. Ben just watching on quietly. Down to the 55 second mark. Still no keys in Rebecca's hands. Time slipping away here. Remember, every key... Oh, she does have one. Found one. Probably on the steps there. I missed it. I think I turned my back at the wrong time. Doesn't like the penguins. Coming down the slide into the foam pit. Is there a key in the foam pit? We'd like to hope so. It would make it nice timing so she could just come out. Help in. No, nope. going into the other side. Down to the 30 second mark. One key for Rebecca so far. Going into the mirrored room. Tough part of the maze, that 20 seconds left on the clock. One key in Rebecca's hand. The thing is, if she finds a second key by the time she makes it, there she comes. Here she comes, two keys. Rebecca, make it out. Come out, come out, come out. Rebecca, quick, quick, quick. Quick, come out, come out. She's got two keys, got a tag. Unfortunately, I don't think she's going to make it. Down to two seconds. One. And time's up there, Ben. Swing it around. Rebecca, come on out. Wherever you are. She's on her way. There she comes, round the back. Now, Ben didn't get into the maze, but not to worry. Maybe next time, mate. Well, if there is a next time. How many did you find, Rebecca? You've got your two. You got number three and number seven. Unfortunately, not a bonus prize key in that. But not to worry, 200 points going towards the school total. So that's good. Let's have a look at the school totals now. Oh, actually, first we'll tell you where the bonus key was. We'll show you guys where the bonus key was. It was hidden here. This is where it was. Number six. Number six. OK? So that's where it was. Two keys. Add those add 200 points to your school total. And this is where they sit now. Birthday, 2034. Our Lady of Fatima, 809. Tomorrow, still could be top or join us. See what happens. There's your, your glasses. Go and find the other keys. James is dressed by Canterbury Clothing. Footwear from Nike. James chooses to stay at the River Plaza Hotel. All players dressed by Rebel Ram. Great fun for all the family in Full House and hanging with Mr. Cooper tonight at 7.30. Well, tomorrow, check out jackets made from recycled plastic, plus some great vintage cars on show in the great outdoors at 7.30 tomorrow on 7. Right now, Rob Bruff with Family Feud, then John and Adriana with Wheel of Fortune. production for the Seven Network. Over 14 and what a fun night out? Then come